Hi, I'm Technical Sergeant Emily Foster, and I'm with the United States Air Force Band, and I play the English horn. For those of you that don't know or have never seen an English horn before, this is it. It's the older cousin, so to say, of the oboe. It's pitched a fifth lower and often plays the poignant parts and pieces and movie music. So today we're going to be talking about a solo excerpt from The Hounds of Spring. This is a standard band literature piece by Alfred Reed. And we're specifically going to be talking about the solo that starts in measure 98. Now before we jump into that, we need to know that this piece has two parts. It starts with a kind of a joyful romp in a 6-8 time. We kind of bounce along and then we have a slower, more tender, lush, romantic moment in the beginning. And that's where the English horn comes into play. Today we're going to talk specifically about measures 98 to 114 and how we can play that solo. So there's three things I keep in mind when I perform this solo with the band, and they are breathing, the musical line, and dynamics. So to go through each of those very quickly, breathing is super important in this solo because as you've noticed from the part, there are no written rests. We have to sneak in breaths whenever we can. So we need to take very quick, efficient breaths. We need to make sure we use lots of air to get through all the phrases. The second part, musical line, kind of speaks for itself. We kind of follow the line of the music. So when the notes are low, we need to start maybe a little bit softer. And as the, the notes grow, we need to also grow in dynamic intensity. And that brings us to the final point, which is dynamics. The solo is marked piano in the beginning. However, this should be treated like a solo piano. You need to cut through the texture of the band. So I would suggest at least starting at a mezzo forte for this solo, and then you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> 